Notice that the solid halide is a white solid and the conch sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid a colourless solution. So first thing to notice on adding the concentrated sulfuric acid is that there's evidence of a reaction and a fumes being released. Now at this point the universal indicator paper, damp universal indicator paper is being hovered over the neck of the tube. Unfortunately you can't see that brilliantly. It's not being dipped into the tube, it's being hovered over the neck of the test tube. A bit like that and you can perhaps catch the colour change in that indicator which is caused by those steamy fumes that are being released from the end of the tube. Notice also inside the test tube that a white solid remains. So white solid and white steamy fumes. Again, we have white solid and this time potassium bromide, white solid KBR and colourless sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid solution. When the sulfuric acid is added to the solid bromide, you can perhaps again see evidence that fumes are being released quite rapidly. Those steamy fumes, again, testing those with a piece of damp universal indicator at the neck of the tube. And that damp universal indicator paper changes colour. Now this time if you look closely there's a, a brown liquid being formed also and that causes an orange vapour to begin to diffuse up into the test tube. If we could identify it reliably we should also see evidence this time of a choking colourless gas being released but that's difficult to demonstrate. Uh, here you can see that orange vapour filling that test tube nicely. Right at the bottom of the test tube, you should see some evidence of a white solid being produced also. So just at the bottom of that test tube there, evidence that there is a white solid remaining.
The third of the halides is again a white solid and again colourless concentrated sulfuric acid being added to that white solid. As soon as that's added, again, there's some evidence that there's some gases being released and the white steamy fumes tested at the neck of the tube with damp universal indicator paper. Now, this time you can perhaps see that there's a grey solid um, being produced by this reaction and that causes a purple vapour to rather rapidly fill that test tube. If we could test for the colourless choking gas, we would expect to see some of that as well being produced. So we'd expect the colourless choking gas to be produced. And if we take a closer look at this test tube, we might be able to just get a little bit of evidence for some of the other products being formed. So looking right at the neck of the test tube, if I twist that round, you can perhaps see evidence of a yellow solid at the neck of the test tube up there. And at the bottom of the test tube, a little bit of evidence for some of the white solid being produced as well. Just right at the bottom, you might be able to catch that. Now, taking this out of the fume cupboard reveals that it that there's quite a nasty bad egg smell as well when this is moved out of the um, fume cupboard. But of course, you can't get that on the video clip.